Hello, I'm Rachel and I welcome you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm speaking with Bob Prue. Now Bob is Executive Director and CEO at Imaginus Biosystems. They're a medical imaging company specializing in cancer detection without exposure to radiation. Here at Calchime, we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock markets and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. A very warm welcome to you, Bob. Morning. How are you, Rachel? Good to speak to you today. Very excited to have a chat with you. So first of all, could you give us an introduction to Imagine Biosystems and talk a little bit about some of the work you've been doing recently? Yeah, sure. So as you said in your introduction, we're a medical device company, ASX listed medical device company, developing a new form of medical imaging um, to try to improve the way we use imaging technology to diagnose and detect diseases like cancer. We use tiny magnetic particles to be able to tag the cancer. And these particles have the very unique property in that they act as a magnetic beacon once they become attached to the tumor. And this allows our ultra sensitive magnetic sensors to be able to pick up when they are there. So today, you know, we don't just uh, look for a spot that is maybe a suspicious lesion, but we would actually be able to tell you that in fact, we are seeing tumor cells. It's such important work. And, and how does Imagine's imaging techniques compare to an MRI? Yeah, so today MRI is an excellent technique for being able to visualize the tissue, right? So we can, we can see differences in structures in the brain. We can look at different organs in the body. But again, if you see a spot in an MRI, it's reported as being a suspicious lesion or an area of interest. They're not actually able to tell you, for example, is that a malignant form of tumor or just a benign form of tumor. So what we're trying to do is change that by having these tiny particles actually become bound to the tumor cells. There's an antibody that we put on them that is highly specific for a particular type of cancer, such as HER2 breast cancer or for prostate cancer. And by using that targeting molecule to get our particles attached to the tumor, we're actually able to, when we report that we see something there, we're actually knowing that we're seeing the tumor cells because we've specifically attached our particles to those tumor cells. Now, interestingly, we're right in the middle of doing a clinical study in Australia, a phase one study, where we're looking at both MRI and our proprietary magnetic relaxometry technique because we know our particles also generate MR contrast. So we're actually using this first phase one study to do a comparison to see how our technique and MRI can be used either separately or together to improve our ability to detect tumors. Now it's very exciting when trials do get underway and as you mentioned there you have a phase one clinical trial site in Australia with a fourth site in New South Wales. Now will you look yeah. to expand your study into the US and will you start with a trial site in San Diego where you're developing your MagSense technology? How's progress with this? Yeah, so um, the phase one study that we're doing in Australia is, is that step we were attracted to the to the clinical uh, approach in Australia. So as you said, we have four sites now recruiting into this study, and we're gonna use this as the um, as sort of the information to move us into that next phase. Certainly, based on the information, if things are go well in Australia, we would move to a multi-site study, including in the United States. Obviously, that's a larger market. There's more patients but potentially to power that study. And yes, of course, we'd love to be able to do that close by at UCSD, for example. But we'll use this phase one study that we're undertaking today in Australia as a way to inform that next step. Now, earlier this year, you announced some new collaborations, including one with Patrice, investigating the use of Patrice antibody with Imagine MagSense nanoparticles with the aim of improving brain tumor imaging and diagnostics. What can you tell me about the progress of these collaborations? Yeah, so earlier this year, uh, we announced a couple of different collaborations. Uh, one, we got uh, some small CSIRO funding to help us start to work on prostate cancer. And then we announced also the joint uh, interest in working with uh, Patris on the use of their antibody to target brain cancer. So, you know, one of the things we know is for diseases like brain cancer, 
Um, we have limited uh, capabilities of treatment. Um, and what we saw with the uh, antibody being developed by Patris is that um, it has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, which would be important in our ability to then use our particles to effectively be able to determine whether or not the problem that the patient is seeing neurologically is in fact a brain tumor or is it something else. So um, it's early stage work with the Patras folks, but we think that their antibody holds a lot of promise for our ability to then improve our ability to, uh, to actually be able to detect brain tumors. So we're early stages, we're just um, demonstrating some early work in, in cell-based studies and hopefully we'll move on from there. But our goal is in general to move beyond this phase one study we have in breast cancer and start to build a pipeline of other imaging agents such as for prostate cancer and brain cancer. That's absolutely fabulous. Is there anything else you can tell me, Bob, about what the future holds for Imagine? Are there any other trials planned? So um, that's really, uh, we're going to use this phase one study, as I said, in Australia to start to plan our, our larger approach, a larger pivotal study that would allow us to move towards commercialization of our first product. Um, I, I would say, you know, there's an, a large number of things where these iron oxide nanoparticles can be used in biomedical applications. So our future really is about building this pipeline of products that can be used as imaging agents and then start to progress to other things like potentially using our particles as a de drug delivery vehicle. So I, I'd say, you know, the future is pretty bright for us insofar as that we've got a large um, um, unmet medical need that we think our particles can address and we're now in the clinic with our first product and looking forward to bringing that to the market. That's fantastic news. Good luck with your phase one trials. We'll be very interested to hear how they turn out. And thanks so much for the chat today, Bob. It's been great to speak with you. Thanks very much. Nice to see you. Thank you. And with that, I will sign off for now, but watch this space for more. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.